A very good evening to you and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. The chairman of Margaritaville Caribbean Group, Ian Deere, says he's not expecting a long-term fallout from damage suffered at Margaritaville Grand Turk due to Hurricane Irma. Mr. Deere says the entity was well prepared for the storm and he's even looking forward to hosting more cruise ships at the pier where the entity is based. Dashan Hendricks reports. Hurricane Irma slamming into the Turks and Caicos in September, disrupting lives and livelihoods, including Margarita Vale Grand Turks. The company's chairman, Ian Deere, said the entity suffered a little damage. All the structures were really well built and they have, they, they have stood up really well. Um, so it's going to be more windows and doors and, and finishes and, and in, because of the salt water coming through the property, it affected equipment. Um, but we're well insured, thankfully. Thankfully, too, all 130 team members were spared. In the days after the storm, they formed a part of the recovery effort, distributing food on the island. But as for the business itself? We're reliant on the cruise ships in part, for that business in particular. Grand Turk is really all about the cruise ship business. Those ships are no longer in port. It means no customers, no money to be made. Ian Deere says the revenue loss will be substantial. If we are down for a month and a half, two months, um, and the, the, what we have seen is with the type of equipment, it's, it's certainly going to be hundreds of thousands in US dollars. But he said insurance should cover that as well as the rebuilding program to get Margarita Grand Turks up and running again. We will be covered as a company. Um, I don't think we will have any negative impact financially because we are properly insured. Now the focus is on getting things up again. The pier where cruiser ships dock in the TCI suffered minimal damage. Mr. Deere says in the days after the storm, his staff worked to get ready for the ships docking again, even though the first cruiser ship is weeks away. We anticipate that um, by November we should be back up and running. But he hints that when Margaritaville Grand Turks is up and running again, it could come with new features. He's also expecting to get a windfall from cruiser ships not able to go to other ports, damaged by the various hurricanes hitting the region this year. For the Business Day, I am Dashan Hendricks. The Jamaican dollar continued strengthening on the U.S. currency, pushing the price of the greenback to the lowest it has been since September 6. That price is $129.55. Its price is down $1.45 in the last 10 days. The price of the Canadian dollar is $102.47. The pound costs $171.50, while the euro is going for $151.84. The price of oil fell to the lowest settlement in more than a week today. Oil for delivery in November dropped $1.09 or 2% to settle at $50.58 a barrel. It is the lowest settlement since September 21. The JSC market index gained more than 3,007 points today, while the junior market index advanced by 27 points. The winners today included AMG Packaging and Paper, Blue Power Group, Caribbean Cream, Apple Limited, Jamaica Brawlers, Kingston Wharves, Paramount Trading, Radio Jamaica, and Supreme Ventures. On the losing end were 1834 Investments, Cargo Handlers, Jamaican Tees, Main Event Entertainment, Proven Investments, Seprod, and T-Tech. And that's your business day. I'm Dwayne Burbick. Good evening.